What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of NX Tutorials. In today's episode, I'll show you how to create a ball. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, the first thing is go ahead and create a new file. Come up here, click new. You want to specify your units. Go ahead and choose millimeters. Name your part. Specify your destination. And go ahead and click OK. Alright, the first thing is go ahead and create a sketch. And we're actually going to create it without using auto dimensioning. So you want to come up in the file, click preference, and under sketch. You want to make sure your constraints and auto dimensionings are off. Go ahead and click OK. Go ahead and click sketch. All right, specify your uh, plane. I'll go ahead and leave it at the default, the XY plane. Click OK. All right, go ahead and create your first line. All right, we want a vertical, so highlight it, make sure it's in red, click on it, and then click vertical. And then go ahead and dimension it. We want it 21 millimeters. So type in 21, press enter. All right. We still have two more constraints. So we'll go ahead and uh, give it a dimension to the y axis. And then we'll pick this point and dimension it to the x axis. And now your sketch is fully constrained. Go ahead and close out. All right, next. Go ahead and create a horizontal line coming across. Make sure it's uh, red and then select it. Tell it to be horizontal. And you want to connect the endpoints of the lines, make them coincident. And then go ahead and give it a dimension. We want this one to be 25 millimeters. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move this dimension here, make it look nice. All right, next, go ahead and create another line horizontally. Come in here, select your point, your line, go ahead and tell it horizontally, and connect your endpoints. And then go ahead and rapid dimension it. This one's going to be 12.5 millimeters. All right. Next, we'll go ahead and create an arc to connect those two endpoints. Go ahead and make your endpoints coincident. Same as down here, select them, connect them. All right, and then go ahead and dimension your arc. We'll go ahead and make it 26. All right, now your sketch is fully constrained. Now you can go ahead and click finish. Change the view up here. We'll go ahead and make it top. All right. So now we have the first half of the bowl. Next, you want to revolve. You want to come up here, click revolve. You want to select the curves that you just created. We got four curves all around. And you want to come here in the axis, specify vector, click on it. And you want to click on this line. Click OK, and there's our ball. All right, next we can go ahead and shell it out. So you want to come up here, select your shell feature, highlight this face, 
and then we'll go ahead and leave it at three millimeters thick. That way we're gonna have a three millimeter stock all around. Go ahead and click OK. Alright, next we'll go ahead and make an indentation here in the bottom. So we'll create another sketch. Select this face. Click OK. Alright, go ahead and click circle. Create your circle. And then go ahead and dimension it. We'll go ahead and make this uh, 23, close out, and then we'll go ahead and uh, connect the center points of these two circles and make them coincidence. Alright, so now your sketch is fully constrained, go ahead and finish. Next we're going to extrude this sketch. Alright, one millimeters, and we're actually going to reverse the direction. So right now you see it's going down. We want to actually inwards inside of the part. So we want to reverse direction. And go ahead and click OK. Alright, next we want to subtract. Select your first body, and then your second body that just we just created. Go ahead and click OK. Alright, so now we have our indentation there. Alright, next I'll go ahead and hide the sketch lines. So we want to come up here in the view. You want to go to move to layer. Select your object. And then invert selection. That way it's going to select all the sketch lines. So we got eight lines. Go ahead and click OK. and then move it to a different layer than the work layer so type in 5 click OK go to layer settings you want to uncheck layer 5 so we can hide it click OK alright next we'll go ahead and blend the edge so go to home you want to edge blend We'll select a 0.5 radius. We'll select this edge, this edge. We can select this edge, the inner, and the bottom one here. Go ahead and click OK. All right. Next, I want to hide those uh, lines. So you want to come in the view your style we want it shaded with no edges so just shaded all right all right lastly go ahead and change the color you want to hold down control and J select the object click OK click on the color box select your preference Click OK. All right, this is our part here. All right, guys, there it is. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Until next time.